So as you know, my producers like to uh, have me sit and for these bonus videos that you get if you're a Andrew Clavin YouTube subscriber, they like to have me sit and watch uh, horrifying things that the left is doing and then make fun of them. This is pretty much the worst video ever made. And mostly I think it's they're less interested in my making fun of them than just my suffering uh, through these videos. I, I don't know why we only hire sadists. Today they wanted me to look at this Dylan Mulvaney. Now you've probably heard of Dylan Mulvaney, an actor, Broadway actor. He was in um, the Book of Mormon, I believe. And now he's got a new gig, which is that he's decided that he is transgender, he dresses up as a girl, and he is recording his days of girlhood. And this has been so successful that he has gained millions of followers. And also, makeup companies, cosmetic companies, are hiring him to represent cosmetics. So if you're... I, <laughs> I'm never offended by anything, really, but it, it's it's actually offensive in the true meaning of that word that they are selling cosmetics to women with a boy. There's something about that that is basically telling women that they don't actually exist, that their interests can be shared by anyone, that they're not natural to them. It's it's really it really is ugly and stupid. I hope the cosmetic companies will be punished for it by only having transgender customers, and the women will uh, tell them to and. But you'll be shocked to learn I have not been watching, uh, you know, Mulvaney's videos about this is day one of being a girl, this is day two of being a girl, uh, partly because it is football season and partly because it is any season. In any season, I would not be watching this. So let's take a look at one of these uh, videos of whatever this guy's name is pretending he's a girl. Day one of being a girl, and I have already cried three times. I wrote a scathing email that I did not send. I ordered dresses online that I couldn't afford. And then uh, when someone asked me how I was, I said, I'm fine, when I wasn't fine. So. How'd I do, ladies? Good? Girl power. <laughs> All right, so he's, he's a comedian, so he is funny. What's funny about it is he's imitating a woman. He's imitating the way men see women, really. That is not what makes you a woman, right? You may behave more like that because you're a woman. So it's funny because uh, it's a fraud. And a lot of people have asked themselves whether or not the whole this whole thing is a, a troll. And uh, we can only say, let's hope so for this kid's immortal soul. Uh, let's see another one. I am a trans woman. My new pronouns are she and they. And I suppose um, that this is my coming out video of sorts. While I was non-binary, I would often say that I felt less and less like a boy every day. Was so scared and a little bit ashamed to even consider myself back on the binary as a trans woman. I have to honor that's who I am and that's who I am supposed to be. I'm not a mistake. I'm, I'm here for a reason and now it feels like I get to honor that inner child within me that that knew that so long ago and I finally get to um, be that person and I really am so excited for you to all meet girl Dylan and she's really excited to meet you too. You know this is so inspiring because when I was a little boy, I went to my mother and told her that I was a major league ball baseball player and God had made a mistake by making me a little child. And uh, she said, God doesn't make mistakes. Uh, and so now, you know, I'm on my 25,000th uh, day <laughs> of being a man uh, and I'm still not a ball player, but now I know that I can be. Next time I, you see me, I will be wearing a Yankees uniform and carrying a bat. What I got from that video was a guy was standing there in a little pink dress with little white barrettes in his hair and a kind of cute little necklace saying that he had felt ashamed of himself. I think those two things are connected. Now, many of you know me as the lord of the multiverse, so you would expect uh, me to get a lot more respect than I do. The reason I don't is because I just don't go around bragging about being a lord, but you should. That's what you should do. I should go around, and, and the way you do that is you get go to established titles. Established titles is your opportunity to earn the title of lord or lady and get the respect you deserve. All you need is a one square foot plot of land in Scotland. Established Titles is a project based on a historic Scottish custom where landowners are referred to as lairds or lords and ladies in English. In your title pack, you'll be bestowed with at least one square foot of dedicated land on a private estate in Edelston, Scotland, plus an official certificate with a crest. I have one. Uh, your certificate features a unique plot number with which you can see the exact location of your land. Titles packs from established titles are a fun and unique gift for any occasion, and there are even couple packs that come with adjoining 
plots of land for the special someone in your life. With your certificate, you could officially add the prefix of Lord or Lady to your credit cards, plane tickets, and even your dating profiles. And get this, established titles told me that the first 200 people purchasing a title pack using my exclusive link will receive a plot within a few walking minutes of mine. Established titles is actually running a massive sale right now. Plus, if you use the code Claven, you get an additional 10% off. Go to EstablishedTitles.com slash Claven to get your gifts now and help support the channel. You can't be Lord of the Multiverse, but you can be Lord of a plot of ground in Scotland if you know how to spell Claven. And by the way, it's K-L-A-V-A-N. Day 66, being a girl, and today I'm in nature. Trees, I love them. Water, lakes, I love them. Heels, they're my hiking heels. I love them. Bridges, love them. Coconut water, love it. Not an ad, just love it. Wind turbine, love it. <laughs> Meadows, love them. I'm scared of getting Lyme disease. Love ya. Get out of here. Did you see that? It was a dragon. Oh my god. Never again. Get me out of here. Love ya. Hey yo, what the f So we just to be fair, we went and interviewed nature. Uh, you know, to see how they react. You know, he was saying love this and love that. And, and we interviewed uh, several trees and a few blades of grass and actually the bug to see how they felt about him. And their response was, be a man. Act like a man. What's the matter with you? You're a man. Act like a man. This is nature. But it breaking news. It's day 220 of being a girl and we have another boob update. I have been on hormones now for 10 months and I started to dissolve my estrogen pills under my tongue, which some of my trans gal friends told me to do. And I'm not a doctor, so don't take my word for it. But I'm telling you, it's working so much better. I mean, can you kind of tell the little bit of change in my face? And look, I have boobs. Like there's no question about it. And this is officially my boob shirt, right? But uh, wow, look at that side angle, whoa. But sometimes I forget that I have them. Like yesterday, I hopped out of the shower and my Uber Eats delivery was here. So I wrapped myself in a towel around my waist to go get it. And as I was opening up the front door, I remembered that I have these and that I can't just show them off. And you know, thank God the delivery person had already walked away or they would have seen them and I just would have felt terrible. So I do think it's a little silly that men can show their chests and women can't. But um, we'll get into that another day. You know, I'm just excited to see where these land. And I'm, uh, you know, I'm not getting them done in December with my other procedures because I need to grow a little bit more tissue. But, you know, all is well here in uh, Dylan land. And I love you. God, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to suggest that I was disgusted or fearful or, you know, just wanted to gag. Um, the giveaway that this is not entirely working out as he thinks it is, is, you know, it's men who say like, well, yeah, why can't women walk around without their shirts, their shirts on? You know, it's not fair. Women should, it would be more fair if women could walk around without their shirts on. You know, women are going like, yeah, that's not happening, guys. Day 75 of being a girl, and I've been carrying around tampons and pads for the past two months, but I've actually never opened <laughs> one up. So let's do it. Woohoo! I thought the letter stood for small, medium, and large based on the size of your Barbie pouch, but after a Google, I found out it's actually the level of your flow. So they're super, regular, and light. I guess my question is which one do I carry around? The super? Because maybe if you have a light flow, you can still use a super? I don't know. Here goes nothing. It's pink, it's kind of adorable, and it kind of looks like a butter churn. <laughs> so you just go like that? Ow. Where does the string go? You are getting sleepy. Now for the real magic, I've got a glass of water and the tampon. I almost put red food coloring in there, but I thought that might be too much. And we're gonna see how this works. Oh, it kind of looks like a butterfly. How long does it take to get to this? one looks like it would do the job. I feel like I'm in science class. Oh no. Okay, the pad didn't expand, so maybe this is for a light flow? I just don't know. Now that I think about it, I probably should have had a woman come teach me about these things. I was on the boys' side of sex ed, and now I would like to take the girls' class. Uh, but if you're on your period right now, I'm sending you love. Bye. <laughs> love ya.
<laughs> I have to say, if I were a tampon manufacturer, I would realize that now with this transgender hysteria kind of passing through the culture, that there may be a temporary market in tampons for no flow whatsoever. Uh, but yeah, that is the way women talk about their periods. The women just love their periods. They're just so excited about them. Oh, yeah, baby! I've never met a woman who didn't say, oh boy, it's, it's period time, and just have that kind of same simpering smile on their faces. Uh, so yeah, he's really doing well becoming a woman. <laughs> I, I think the entire world, we have all these cameras, but I don't think we have enough mirrors. I don't think we have enough people looking at themselves and thinking, oh no, I'm behaving like that. They're taking pictures of themselves and showing them to us. And we're going, oh no, he's behaving like that. But they need those mirrors. You know, you got to have that mirror where you look at them and think, oh no, yeah, no, I, I'm sorry. I, I had this idea I was going to dress up in a little pink jumper and play with tampons, but I, I don't think I'm going to do that because... I'm a guy. So that's my reaction to him. Uh, God love him. I hope uh, he has a really, really fun time until the moment he realizes he's made a terrible mistake. But up until that point, I hope he's, he's happy as can be. If you want more Claveny goodness, and I know you do, like and subscribe, and please subscribe to the Andrew Claven Podcast. <laughs>